Hello everyone, in this lesson we are going to discuss about subset and proper subset. What is a subset? Subset is a part of the main set under consideration. It is denoted by this symbol. Yung parang letter C na merong line sa baba or parang letter U na nakahiga na merong line sa baba. So that is the symbol for subset. Now what about a proper subset? A proper subset is a special case of a subset. Now, a subset is said to be a proper subset if there is at least one element found in the original set that is not included in the subset. Okay, kapag yung subset natin ay uh, kulang ng at least one element compared to the original set being compared to then that subset is said to be a proper subset. Pero kapag kompleto at parehong pareho sila ng given set, then that is not a proper subset. Now, the symbol for proper subset is C or yung yun na kiga without the line below. So, that's the difference between subset and proper subset. Now, take note, a subset can have any of the following number of elements of a given set. We can have all the elements of that given set, some of the elements of that given set, or none of the elements of a given set. That is for subset. While for a proper subset, it can only have some or none of the elements of a given set. So, gaya ng sinabi natin kanina, hindi pwedeng lahat or parehong pareho yung elements ng uh, isang proper subset. Okay, compared to that given or original set. Let's have some examples. Let's take uh, set A and the elements are 1, 2, 3. Now, the possible subsets are the following. We have 1, 2, 3 for all elements. So, completo yung elements niya. This is also a subset of that given set. Now, we can also have some of the elements of that given set. We can have 1, 2, 3 as our element or we can also have 1, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 3 as some of the elements of that original set okay, which contains 1, 2, 3 or we can also have no elements or none of the elements of that given set now, uh, all of these are possible subsets however, Yung isa dito ay not a proper subset. Okay, so alin kaya dito yung hindi proper subset? Let's take a look now. So the first one, okay, ito yung 1, 2, 3, where it contains all elements, is not a proper subset. Okay, gaya ng sinabi natin kanina, pag kompleto or parehong pareho yung, yung elements ng subset natin compared to the given set, Okay, then that is not a proper subset. And the rest, they are already proper subsets. So, pag some elements or no elements or none of the elements of the given set, then these are already proper subsets. Let's have the last example. Let's take set E and the elements are A, B, and C. So, the possible subsets are we have A, B, C. All elements are included. Or some of the elements are included. We have A, B, C or two of the elements. A, B, A, C, B, C. Okay, or no element or none of the elements of the given set. Now, alin dito ang proper subset at alin ang hindi? So, the first one is not a proper subset kasi parehong pareho sila. Okay? Pag kompleto yung elements dun sa given set, that subset is not a proper subset. All the rest, okay, basta may kulang or kung walang elements, then these are all proper subsets. So, let's have a recap of our lesson for subset and proper subset. A subset is a part of a set. A subset contains all, some, or none of the elements of the original set or given set under consideration. Now, a subset is said to be a proper subset if it contains some or none, 
but not all of the elements of the original set under consideration. So, kung parehong-pareho yung elements ng given subset, then we can say that that subset is not a proper subset. And the symbol for subset is this, yung parang C na merong line sa baba or parang U na nakahiga and with line below. And the symbol for proper subset is similar. Ang kaibahan lang ay walang line doon sa baba. So that's all for our lesson on subset and proper subset.